Good evening, Dr. Becker and your staff. I know that you've been eagerly awaiting my reassessment of the football team, and I'm here to tell you today that we need to keep this football team on campus. So I'll start off by saying that uh, ESPN uh, covered our football team in 2010 as their leading story of the beginning of the football season. They could have chosen any other team, Alabama, Texas, Oregon, Kansas State, but they chose Georgia State because they obviously showed some kind of interest in us. A school without football is in danger of deteriorating into a medieval study hall. This is a quote from Frank Lee, the coach of Notre Dame. He won three national championships, never lost a game there, also won two at Oklahoma, posting a 47-0 record there. Pretty credible guy to get that kind of information. Where's our money coming from, and where is it going? Recruiting. How do we get players to get here, and how do we get fans in the stands? We're going to do that by joining the Sunbelt Conference and being bowl eligible in 2014. We're also going to end with showing you a comparison of the University of South Florida to Georgia State, when they started up in 1997. So who wouldn't want to play in the Georgia Dome? It's the fifth largest football stadium in America as far as indoor stadiums go. Uh, we host 96 Olympics here. No other football team can say they did that. And we had 30,000 people show up for the very first game. We actually outsold the Braves game that night. So we have the potential to bring the people to the stands. Here's a, a recruiting budget that shows us compared to all of the other schools in the Sun Belt. And as you will see, we are the second highest <coughs> A little trend analysis will show you that we showed a 23% increase, and if you did that for the end of the fiscal year 2012, it'd be around $212,000 to spend on hotels and plane flights to get to the players we need to look at. Uh, here's a, just a graph to show you a little bit easier on the eyes from our yellow to purple. We are uh, third and percent increased. Um, some notable games. We played against Alabama last year. We played against Tennessee this year. Uh, next year, we played against uh, West Virginia and Alabama. They were both ranked in the top five at one point this year. And we're playing Oregon in 2015, number two in the BCS right now. Uh, so why would these schools want to play against Georgia State? Well, they're called cupcake games. Cupcake <laughs> games are games where the other team comes in and just beats you with a stick. And it's okay because their rankings go up in the BCS standings. BCS standings are one-third of your standings along with the Harris Poll and the Coaches Poll. Uh, it's composed of six college football analysts who go over uh, your strength of schedule, your opponent's strength of schedule, and your opponent's opponent's strength of schedule, which is deemed by college basketball the RPI. Uh, defeating a team with a higher than normal score can really, really increase your rankings. Also, people can't always afford to go to the Alabama-Auburn game, the Oregon-Oregon State game. They can afford to go to the Alabama-Georgia State game because tickets are cheaper. We make profit off that. These stadiums seat over 100,000 people, 100,008 in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Uh, we made just under a million dollars playing Alabama in 2011, and we made 500,000 playing against Tennessee. People pay us money to come to, to just to beat us, and it's a win-win for both situations. As you can see, players are going to want to get to tackle Julio Jones because they might never get to do that again in their lives. <laughs> All right. Here is a uh, look at average home attendance for the Sun Belt Conference. Okay? The Sun Belt Conference is where we'll be joining next year. And uh, as you can see, we average around 20,000 people. And a little interesting stat, according to statsnomes.com, these teams also average 10,000 more fans at their away games because they play in big stadiums such as the Georgia Dome. Here is our attendance compared to them, and yes, we are below, but we're not far from average, so how do we get fans excited? Bowl games. The r &L Carriers Bowl and the GoDaddy.com Bowl are two bowl games that the Sun Belt Conference are guaranteed. As you can see, I have a little Caesar Pizza Bowl up here, and that's because Ohio State and Penn State are both on probation and likely for next year as well. Therefore, if the Big Ten cannot provide an eligible bowl team, they will have to have a Sun Belt team play in this game. Uh, the Sun Belt Conference from last year, $500,000 to each school who played in the r &L Carrier Bowl, $750,000 to each team that played in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, and $600,000 to people that played in the Little Caesars Bowl, and they're all averaging around 46,000 people. In 1997, USF, University of South Florida, started a football team, Division I AA Independent, just like Georgia State was. They joined the CSUSA in 2003, and in 2005 became bowl eligible by joining the Big East. Uh, they played in six bowl games out of the past <coughs> seven seasons, posting a 4-2 and two record. Notable players from USF, Jason Pierre-Paul, defensive lineman for the Giants, and our Stephen Nicholas from linebacker from the Falcons. In 2007, uh, USF only sold uh, tickets to the lower half of their bowl, just like Georgia State. The only reason they had more people is because we are indoor stadium, we have three levels, they only have two in Raymond James Stadium. Along that note, we both play in professional stadiums, therefore allowing people to not only know about Georgia State, but to know about the Georgia Dome. And uh, last, Georgia State will be eligible in 2014. That's quicker than USF was. It took USF eight years, and it only took us four. Georgia State, Georgia, has the highest number of high school recruits going to play college football in the entire nation. We have the potential for greatness. All right? 
for the second highest recruiting in all of the Sun Belt Conference, will be bowl eligible in one more year while the BCS rapidly tries to adapt to this new playoff system because yes, I know that there will be a four-team playoff, but there will still be bowl games to be played. And last, we are headed in the same direction as USF. We've only gotten there quicker. Like I said, greatness is just ahead. Good job.